kitchen sandwich bread again. It's already been kneaded and so now the first step is to let your dough rise in a bowl for an hour or until it's doubled in size. go and finish doing my makeup. I've got to take Evie to a job interview in about 10 minutes, so we're kind of running behind. Okay, so we're back from the job interview. I just had lunch, and Brian is going to mix up our, not mix up, get our sandwich bread dough into our loaf pans. This time we're going to try it in my big metal um, sandwich yeah. bread pans. Yeah. So here's what it looks like. It's definitely doubled in size. It's really airy. So he, the directions say to punch it down and divide it into two sections.
everything outside really quick. I'm gonna get some peppermint from my little herb garden here. Let's see, this is spearmint. And this one is peppermint. I wanted to do peppermint today. So I'm just gonna take a tiny, doesn't take much. I probably should have scissors just like that much. It's starting to spread here. This, I got these plant starters from Azure Standard. I'm gonna add this to our tea. Here is Belle, already super hot. Hi, Dart, oh goodness. All the babies are sleeping and muddy. <laughs> so we're gonna add this to our tea. Get really hot and then I'll just turn it off for a while. For dinner tonight, I'm just gonna make like a cob salad. And so I'm grilling the chicken and I'm gonna bake it in the oven. So how we do grilled chicken is we sear it, we season it on both sides. Well, first we butterfly it so it's a little bit thinner. We season it and then we sear it on both sides and then we put it in a nine by 13 and bake it for about 20 minutes and then we'll slice it. Uh, my bread kind of fell and got a little bit dark. It feels soft, so I think it will be okay. The ever-changing bread process. Um, so what I'm gonna do is cut up some romaine lettuce. I had hard boiled some eggs a couple days ago, so I will chop these. We have a tiny few tomatoes from our garden. I think there might be a few more. I'll go get some more of those. Um, I will fry some corn. And if I have some cooked bacon, I'll get that out and then we'll just do like ranch dressing on the top. at night and we're gonna wrap up this video. I didn't film much after dinner and most of the day I had a gluten exposure at some point this week and had a terrible afternoon. I'll save you the details but if you know you know. So um, I've mentioned it before do not follow me for sourdough advice ever. I worked on sourdough for would you say two months? Yeah. And uh, probably- it was, it was a ton of flour. 20 pounds of flour. Tried and tried and tried with no success. So share your success stories below. But if you are struggling, just be my friend down in the comments and tell me it's okay. And I, the thing is I put it on hold for a while because I had gotten so obsessive with trying with wanting it to work and watching way too many videos. So I found, and I've been using her sandwich bread, Amber's Kitchen on Instagram. She has these really great videos and it's not weighing or anything. And so I just rewatched a video today. And so what I did is I took my sourdough starter that has been dormant in the refrigerator, which everyone claims it can live in there for a long time. And I put, half a cup in here and she told she told me like she's talking to me on her blog it said to start it at about 10 o'clock at night and do like a massive feed so i'm doing 
half a cup of my starter. I'm gonna do two cups of flour and two cups of water. And then her blog says overnight it will be bubbly and ready to cook with. So I guess you'll have to see that in the next video. But we're gonna close out this video. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one, bye.